What's up everybody, 915Mang here. Wanted to do a video on aquascaping and the use of a reef welder. Um, they sell this on Marine Depot. Basically what it is, it's a bunch of little beads. You put them in uh, some hot water and then they turn uh, translucent, they turn clear. Um, from there, uh, you can go ahead and sculpt uh, the way you want your rocks, which is really cool because um, I'm gonna be using some shelf rock adding it to my live rock and as you can see it's a pretty big piece the nice thing is if you screw up uh, unlike putty you're done if you use putty and you you know start mixing it up together it gets hard uh, you only have a little certain amount of time before it totally cures not only that but it throws your skimmer off on um, whack but with this stuff uh, I found out that uh, I messed up and I was able to reuse it by just throwing it in some more hot water um, right now I'm using the clear, but it also comes in purple. Uh, same same exact stuff except for just a little bit purple. And then uh, it works really good, guys. But what I did is I took some existing live rock out. And uh, I wanted to add some shelf rock, which is pretty heavy. And you can work with this underwater. But you got to be quick because the cool water will make the plastic get hard again, solid. Um, so I just decided to go ahead and take the rock out of water. And just start building up and then uh, just go from there. I'm pretty impressed with this stuff. And like I said, I did mess up and all I had to do was throw it back in the hot water. I wasn't sure how well it would hold up. Um, as you can see, I really didn't put a whole lot of plastic on there. But I picked it up from the base of the rock and then I started to get brave. Grabbed it by the shelf rock and started twirling the rock around. And uh, it held up pretty good. Uh, no loose, no nothing. I know you can use mortar, and uh, before that I would use super glue to do that, but you can imagine this would be a lot of super glue, and uh, this pretty much just bonds the rock all together, and I highly recommend it. Now this might be an eyesore because it is uh, white and it's going on your in your tank, but keep in mind that it's being plastic. I'm assuming, and I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be right, that uh, coralline algae is just going to grow on the uh, white stuff. Uh, if you notice, it grow coralline algae grows on your pumps, anything plastic in the tank. So hopefully this uh, white uh, plastic will go ahead and start turning purple and won't be so bright. I want to go ahead and show you uh, some of the structures that I was able to make. Uh, the structures that I did make, I used a total of two bottles, okay? One bottle of the white and then another bottle of the purple. Uh, but as you can see... Um, it was pretty cool because I was able to tie this Tonga branch together. It looks like a one complete uh, spear and uh, it looks pretty cool to me. What I plan on doing with the Tonga branch is sticking some SPS on there. And I even used some of this plastic to uh, tie up a SPS frag on the very top. I would recommend that you buy the biggest bottle that you can afford. Um, a bottle like this goes for 20 bucks. But uh, if you can, just go ahead and buy the biggest bottle you can afford that way. If you do need more, then you're not waiting for it. Um, and as you can see, I have a little bit of the plastic right there on that rock to give it a little support. And uh, I have it over here holding frag plugs and uh, my Duncan coral. I was able to make quite a few structures. I tied three rocks together using uh, one bottle. And uh, I ended up stacking them out of the water, letting it cure in the water because um, you know it is like a liquid then once you cure it and set it where you want you can go ahead and put it in the water and it'll go ahead and cure that way faster than rather than letting it air dry and um, you can see this structure right here it's two shelves and then it's even holding up uh, the double stacked uh, rock right here I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video right now I just wanted to show you uh, this putty it's pretty new stuff out there and uh, I like it. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and drop it in the comments below. And as you can see, it's holding out some heavy pieces of rock and it's doing a great job. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, guys, and you have a good one. Take care.